I would like you to imagine another Scotland. A Scotland that had never been politically joined up with England. In that other Scotland, much would be the same as it is now, and of course, much would be different. Imagine it's Friday afternoon in that other Scotland, and a group of students are sitting in the students' union in the centre of Glasgow, waiting on their friend Gavin to arrive. Like students everywhere, they were talking about all sorts of things, but one of them, a student named Malcolm, is feeling a bit bored, so he launches into a conversation about politics. How will you be voting, Jim? What do you mean? In the referendum, yeah, there. What are you voting? My head's focused on exams, not should Scotland join up with England. Okay, it's a stupid question anyway. Who in their right mind wants to be part of England? Shauna closed her textbook with a loud thud and suggested to the group Might be the best move we've ever made. Aye, and don't forget they've got that bedroom tax. Saw that for a game of darts. Don't start anti-politics, you two. Said Jackie. We're an independent country, right? So why would we give that up? For what? Malcolm added. Is MD asked English if they want it? No is the answer. They haven't. It's a dumb idea anyway. Of course the English will want it. Who wouldn't want to be part of Scotland? Said Jen hotly. Maybe the Welsh? Malcolm suggested. I don't think it's as cut and dry as that. Insisted Shauna. Addressing all of them, Malcolm asked the question. Have you looked at the history? That's not fair. Had we been all the one country, their history would be our history. Aye, and it would have been a lot worse for us. I'm sitting here all left out. What history? Said Jen hotly. Well, for a starter, there was the First World War. What about it? We weren't in it. That's the whole point, Daphne. We weren't involved. But Scots still died fighting in it. I've got my higher history, you know. That's because they went down to England and signed up as foreign fighters. The English had to fight. We didn't. Scottish boys died, but that was because they were in the English army. They were fighting the Germans for England. Scotland had nothing to do with it. I didn't know, I didn't know that. that. Admitted Shauna and Jen. Aye, they had a whole division of foreign fighters. Folk went from Scotland, Ireland, and the rest of the English Empire. Like Switzerland and Spain, we were neutral. I know that much. How many died, Jen? How many? Too many. Imagine, Jen, if we'd been part of England. We'd have been involved in those two world wars, plus all the other English wars as well. How many Scottish boys would have died then? And what about Northern Ireland? We'd have been involved in that mess as well. And it's still going on. Exactly right, mate. There's peace now, remember guys? Tony Blair fixed that problem out. What? He caused a war in Iraq and Afghanistan. Weapons of mass destruction, Blair claimed. And some folk believed it. On both sides of the border. Who'll ever forget Blair and his lies? Scots fought in the Spanish Civil War. I remember that from higher history. Aye, it's foreign fighters, alongside guys from all over the world. The point is, if a guy wants to fight in somebody else's war, there's nothing to stop him. We call that freedom. Jackie steered the conversation deliberately away from war and offered... And we were spared all those Tory governments. There'd be a lot more jobs if we were part of England. Foreign companies would come here, and that would bring even more jobs. Do you mean like American companies? Like IBM or Amazon? Aye, I do. They went to Poland, or Hungary, or somewhere, because they get cheaper labour over there. I didn't know that. So they don't have a factory in England anymore? When did that happen? I must have been asleep in modern studies that day. Lazy sod. You were always sleeping in modern studies. Look what Thatcher did to England. Imagine what could have happened had she been the Prime Minister of a united Scotland and England. They looked at each other in silence, and then Jen said, Oh God, I don't want to think about that. Then, sympathetically, she added, You know, you've got to feel sorry for the poor English. Look what she did to them. And the free university education we're getting, they don't get it. 
It cost a fortune. The chances are, none of us would be here. That's true, Malcolm. You've got to admit it. If I lived in England, I'd be 30,000 quid in debt. 30,000 quid! Right, Malcolm, I'll give you that. We don't pay for our education. If any of you knew anything about your history, you'd know we nearly joined up with England about 300 years ago. It was to be called the Union of the Parliaments. But there is the Union of the Crowns. That's why the Queen of England is the Queen of Scotland at the same time. I remember reading somewhere that there were actually four attempts at getting us to join up with England. Really? Are you kidding? No, she's not. Thankfully, the vote went the right way and it didn't happen. Lord Belhaven, the Duke of Hamilton, and some guy named Andrew Fletcher were against the whole idea. They won the rest of Parliament over, so we stayed independent. Had we joined, everything would be different. And I mean absolutely everything. So, would the Queen still be the Queen? That's what the Union of the Crown means. She'd be the Queen of a country called Marvellous Britain, or Big Britain, or Glorious Britain, or I want to be Great Britain. Or some such nonsense. So, had we joined up, some things would be the same as they are now. Not absolutely everything would be different, just some things. Okay, some things would be the same, some wouldn't. But it would be English politicians who would be running things. Think about that. Who do you think they'd put first? Us? Or them? They wouldn't get away with that. Who'd stop them? A handful of Scottish politicians? Scotland's one of the richest countries in the world, thanks to the Duke of Hamilton and Andrew Fletcher and Lord, what's his name? Belhaven. But the oil won't last. Then what'll we do? We'll be forced to change like everybody else. Dizzy. Oh yeah, I'm forgetting as well, we've got loads more than oil. Do you really want private medicine like England's got? And you never know guys, one far away day we might even beat the English in the final of the World Cup played in the National Stadium of a United Ireland. Aye, <laughs> if we could ever get into the finals. That'll be the day. Look, the vote's not about being anti-English. It's all about being pro-Scottish. Aye, it's about what's best for Scotland. Who wants to be part of a daft idea like that? Well, I might. Aye, you and about six other dafties. So whose mad idea was it to have a vote on it? Double-crossing politicians. Who else? At that point, Gavin came hurrying towards them. Hey guys, I've got tickets for Rockness. With that dramatic pronouncement, the conversation of politics died instantly. <laughs>